is up? I'm Moana Turtle and today we have another Pokemon opening. We have finally gotten our box of Dream League, the newest Japanese set and I'm really excited to open this and um, let's see, so much stuff to talk about. Uh, I believe the whole Hidden Fate set has been kind of like, not spoiled at this point, but uh, on TV Beach, they did have an article for the whole set list, uh, so I definitely want to do a video about that. But I was so excited to get this in the mail that I just had to open this first, and then we'll do another video <laughs> shortly after about the rest of the Hidden Fates set list. Uh, but on to Dream League. Let's see. So this is the set where they introduce these character rares. So it's kind of like another secret rare for all the different GXs and stuff like that. And I'm super excited about it. Let's see. Ones that. I really want are there's like a Torkoal Flannery one. Yeah, there's Torkoal Flannery. Uh, I think the N one with uh, Rishi Ram and can't remember, but that one looks absolutely insane. The Roxy one looks pretty cool. Uh, Dawn and uh, Piplop, Red and Pikachu. So many good character rares. Um, if it's the same thing as like a secret rare, then collecting all those will be super tough. But uh, let's get into it. So many good cards. Um, I feel like that tag team with, man, is it Zekrom and Reshiram? I think that one looks, is probably like the best one that I'm looking to pull, best GX tag team. Let's see, is this Lily's, the new Lily card? I believe it was actually terrible. We got a Slugma, um, Araquanid. Ooh, right off the bat. Oh my gosh, is this, is this the, uh... all right, let's just see last card. And all right, Cyrus and Weavile. Uh, this looks like the character rare. Yes, so we did get the character rare. So you can see right there, it's CHR because it is just a common. And I'm hoping that these, that you can get more than one of them because as far as like the character rares, this was not the one I want the most. So let's see, a couple notes. This is not textured, which to me that means it's not like a secret rare, but ah, that's so cool. I love the idea of this, especially with Pokemon Masters out now, or no, not out, but uh, like soon going to be out. <laughs> I feel like that's perfect timing for this new rarity. You know, this idea of every, like lots of Pokemon will be associated with their trainer as well. All right, let's keep going. We got, oh, speaking of Weavile. So here you see, this is the same exact card, same attacks, same HP, same everything. Only this is obviously much cooler. <laughs> it's full art, has Cyrus in there. Oh, love that new concept. I feel like it's a very good idea. Uh, to be honest, I feel like the full art is kind of cool, but then between full art and rainbow rare, I feel like there's not enough. What are you? Wait a minute. Do you always get it or something? We got. Oh, wait, no. This is. Okay. This is just a regular tag team. Um, although this one does still look really cool. Uh, I love how it ends just like chilling on his shoulder. The alternate art one. So this is the RR. Not sure what the double rare? Maybe double rare. <laughs> but the Svet the character rare one, that one looks like a that looks like a movie poster to me. So but this one's super cool. Alright, this attack for red or fire and electric energy. I believe it's discard any number of energies from your any of your Pokemon it does 90x damage super crazy especially when all like so many tag teams are at 270 there's a couple ones that are now at 280 so the game is still still evolving and uh, but you know discard three of those you can knock out most tag teams I don't remember what this attack does <laughs> but wow two amazing hits of just the first two packs we are starting off strong Ooh, there's Torkoal. We need the alternate art of this guy, for sure. Uh, something Terrier? Rolts! Do Biter, and then Roxy. Uh, oh, one thing I do want to talk about is where do you buy a Japanese product? So I feel like I got this pretty late. And I order from Plaza Japan, and they do usually give a free freebie thing. I got a random volcano. It's probably like Mount Fuji or something. Don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Probably nothing. But uh, yeah, I'm not happy with how long it took me to get to me. Uh, so let me know in a comment down below if you have a specific place that you would recommend purchasing product 
Uh, one that uh, I think Grumpy Charizard recommended was Amazon JP. Uh, so if you've had experience with that, let me know how it's going. Or if you have a different vendor that you would like to suggest. I've also done some like random ones off eBay. I don't remember which, but none of them happened to it. Ah, oh, these pull tabs. It's cool, but you know, sometimes this happens and like imagine that happening to your character rare. Like, oh, N? It fills the, the alternate art N with Zekrom and Reshiram. Oh, I cry. Who are you? <laughs> Not gonna lie, I don't know who that is. Mimikyu, oh, this card's really good. I can't remember, I think it's this one. Just for colors, I think it's like, bring your opponents of Pokemon down to 10 HP. Imagine you you have this guy in play, you're like, all right, you know, put out anything and I'll knock him out in one turn. And then this little Mimikyu comes into play and knocks you down to 10, and oh, before I did that, I also tossed down Shrine of Punishment. You're done. One hit KO for a colorless energy. That's pretty crazy. I reckon it again. And I'm guessing this, oh, I was gonna say it looks like a Toxicroak evolution, but nope, that's definitely not Toxicroak, so. All right, so, so far we got two big hits, hoping for that's not our only character rare or CHR. Ooh, that's a pretty cool looking Raichu. Gloom. Another Ralts, a uh, Sneasel, and then cool looking supporter, Rosa. I was like blanking on her name, I was like oh my gosh I've been using her non-stop in Pokemon Masters, who are you? It's very interesting when opening, uh, oh my gosh I gotta be careful, maybe I should, next one I'll probably use a um, pair of scissors to open these. We got Lily again, Slugma. Ooh, man, Raichu's pretty cool. Pikachu's even better. That looks awesome. Oh, Piplup! This is the one I want the character rare. This card's pretty cool, too. High energy costs. It's very interesting. Like, three energy for a basic. How often do you see that? Especially one that evolves to stage two. It does 80 damage, and I believe it's if your opponent's Pokemon is a basic, uh, which is kind of like, oh, tag teams. I think it's they can't attack next turn or something like that. And then a Cleat Fairy. I think this one is also... Um has a the Lily alternate and I believe it makes it allows you to bring out a Clefairy doll which I don't remember if that was good I think it was kind of good it kind of like can take a hit from your opponent it doesn't you don't lose a prize for it or they don't take a prize for it uh, wheezing Roxy has coughing not wheezing oh, I can't remember your name Herdy or something like that is that the drill burr? Oh, this is the basic of that that weird thing. And we have a Magneton. Magneton. I'm curious if there was ever a cool Magneton. <laughs> I can't remember one. I feel like Magneton's all about, I don't know, it does some weak attack that can paralyze. And then a pretty strong attack that blows itself up. Oh wait, no, Zatu. Zatu was the one. I think this is the one that brings you down to 10 HP. Uh, not the, not the Natu. What's the Zatu? Or not the Mimikyu. Alright, now I'm super confused. Oh no, the Mimikyu just did like damage to some Pokemon. And, I felt, and Mimikyu was a potentially a good finisher after you use Zatu. Alright, now it's starting to come back to me. We got some kind of fishing equipment. But, uh, so, you know, I feel like there's so many good cards in this set. Uh, I'm guessing this is going to be in Cosmic Eclipse. But, you know, one interesting thing, you know, a while back we did, uh, maybe not that far long ago. Ooh, man, we're getting a lot of the new tag teams. We got the Lily one as well, with Solgaleo and Lunala. Don't remember what this card does, but I'm pretty sure it stinks. I think this one might have been just very similar to Flesh Strike, or maybe a discarded energy. I just remember being very unimpressed. Oh, the GX moves. If you use the... The, the supporter card that turn it had a, a special add-on ability but uh so i believe cosmic eclipse will probably have this and that's going to be the last sun and moon set and this is a cool supporter i think you can call your flip so it's guaranteed but you know with 
Sword and Shield around the corner and they introduced these V Pokemon or V and then V Max. Like, is that the end of Tag Team? Is that the end of these character rares? Like, I feel like, well, character hasn't even come out yet in English. It just came out Japanese and you're already changing up the mechanics. So I feel like a lot of stuff is kind of short lived. Um, you know, I hope they keep Ultra, like Prism Stars. I feel like that's a very useful thing. You can give a very powerful card but it has the built-in mechanic, you can only use one. And I, I'm hoping it, you know, I don't feel like that has needs to necessarily be tied to, you know, sun and moon and can't be there for uh, sword shield, sword and shield. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, we still got three more packs and pretty happy with our pulls, hoping for a better, another character rare, but I love the Zekrom Reshiram. And all right, two left, but uh, let me know what your thoughts are about this new set. Oh yes, so we did get another one. It's interesting, it's in like the second to last, or not the, after you remove one card from the back to the front, you know, it's, or front to the back, I can't remember, but it's the second to last card. And I do like this one. This was one that, you know, I feel like coughing is, in my opinion, was never that popular. Uh, I made a, talked about how it was, I blame, <laughs> James <laughs> for that how he just you know his silliness brought down the popular coughing but coughing and wheezing have very cool arts like the detention gas one love like that sh sh shading uh, and this is uh, no like just kind of carries that to another level with Roxy in there as well so huge fan of that I'm not sure what these Jap or what these characters spell out but yeah very unique art and I very much appreciate that and that's huge all right so we only opened half this box and I'll probably split this into two videos just so like the video is not super super long but we got two character rares and that is awesome to know maybe we'll even get a couple more in the second half of the box uh, and we got a galay for our last card and I'm out of sleeves but uh, yeah so let's see some cool cards we got we got Lily plus Sogaleo plus Lunala. We got Cyrus plus Weavile. Super cool. Ah, this card is so strong. I'm really excited about him. I my guess is that when he hits the scene, you know, it's gonna be alright, let's figure out how to make this deck work. Grabbing some Malamars, assuming it's still in rotation, and or no, or maybe Naganadal. We're just gonna go ham with this thing. And, oh, this might be my favorite card from this opening. This Roxy plus Coughing. That is a great piece of artwork in my opinion. But, uh, so yeah, let me know what your thoughts are of this set. And, and more importantly, uh, where do you order your Japanese product from? And what has your, been your experience as far as time to receive it? Um, you know, it, especially if you're in the US. So I'm very curious to hear that, but, um, yeah, stay tuned for another video. Like I, I recorded a couple stuff yesterday for today and I feel like I'm gonna push all that to tomorrow just because like, oh, I saw another post for Hidden Phase, a complete set. So I'm definitely want to do some, a quick video about that as well. So stay tuned for that. But uh, as always guys, thanks for watching. Um, thanks again to everyone that supports the channel. You know, I feel like we've been going through some explosive growth lately and loving it. And uh, yeah, don't know how to show my appreciation, but I, I want to tell you, I really appreciate it. And, but so I'll catch you guys next time. I'm Wanna Turtle. Uh, bye. <laughs>